morning to everyone. It's a pleasure to be here. Pardon us, we're a bit out of breath. We were running from the metro. I mean, our director said all the main elements, but I wanted also to take this opportunity to congratulate you on this kickoff meeting and the work that you have ahead of you. I seem to remember when we met, was it in October 2022? Yes, in Paris, when we started preparing this joint action, it took us so long to prepare it. So now is the real work ahead, ahead of all of us. So from, from our side, from the European Commission, I also remember back in the day when we first drafted the text that eventually ended up in the work program of the EU for Health program. That was the basis for this joint action. So it's been a long time in the, in the making and um, good luck. Just three maybe elements from, from us sort of to give you the context. I think Roser already outlined the significance it is for us in according, of course, 50 million from the EU budget to, to support this work. But antimicrobial resistance is a priority for, for our commission. I hope it will remain so also in the next commission. We shall see later this year. And um, two very important things, the council recommendation and the targets you all have now and, and we collectively have these goals that we aspire to. So we hope this will be uh, helping all of you in reaching those goals. The second element, which she didn't mention, but we have also, as a result of COVID, maybe some of you are aware, strengthened the EU health security legislation. So this is the regulation on serious cross-border health threats where antimicrobial resistance is, is part of it. And we have strengthened reporting along this cycle of prevention, preparedness, and response. So this is something that is also, um, I would say, a novelty as a result of the pandemic. And um, last but not least, I'll give the floor to my colleague Julia to say a few words about the international scene. We have this big, important event, which Rosera also mentioned at the end of sort of September this next year. But um, from, from my side, good luck to all of us. We will be, of course, ha very happy to follow this work over the next um, few years, and I'm very happy to be here with you today. Thank you. Um, yes, very good morning to all of you. Thank you for having us. And uh, really, we don't want to take too much of your time because today is your day and we're celebrating your kickoff and your launch. Um, but yeah, just to bring it back to the international context, we want to see this joint action also, um, you know, with synergies with other international activities like the ongoing negotiations for the pandemic agreement um, and also for the big uh, UNGA event upcoming. Can we go further than where we were in 2016 with the next UNGA declaration? Um, and really, we see ourselves um, at the you know at EU level a bit strengthened through this uh, Council recommendation on AMR in a way we have a strong mandate to um, uh, at international level also push for action on AMR, um, especially around the targets. Maybe there's something that can be done there. We've done this at home. Maybe we can advocate for at international level now. Um, so all these pieces are kind of uh, coming together, and we see I think in a way it's a year for AMR now. And uh, we wish you really the best of luck in this endeavor. Thank you.